you know, we're like, man, I can't. And we're sitting there, it's taking forever, and I'm like, man, might as well just go out and smoke a cigarette before my meal. And we get our meal and everything. And we get back in my car, and we're sitting there smoking our cigarettes, and it was great, and, you know, and, uh, I was thinking, and I was like, you know the, the quit smoking commercials? You know, you see, uh, you see a happy family, and, you know, it's the husband and the wife, and they quit smoking, and, you know, there were little kids in the backyard with a white picket fence, and the golden retrievers hopping around, and, you know, that's not real. That's not real. I want to see, I want to see someone on there like, uh, um, hello. My name is Gladys Stone. I am 90 years old. I have been smoking since I was five years old. Forever. Forever. The doctor might as well have lit up a Virginia Slim when I was coming out of the womb, for Christ's sake. I mean, you know, I, uh, I, um, I get this, uh, kick the nick fit, it's what it's called, and, um, I, uh, I actually, uh, just cut back smoking. I, uh, I went down from, uh, three cottons a week of Virginia Slims to only two. So I'm making progress, you know? I'm making progress. So, uh, that's, that's great. It's wonderful. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, God, I need a cigarette. Jeez. Sitting here in front of this camera, sweating my ass off. Jeez, where's my purse? Dolores! Dolores, are you here? Hello, Dolores? God, I need a cigarette. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, uh, George Bush is out of presidency, huh? Are you here for that? Yeah. Yeah. Dumbass. <laughs> Obama's not doing too much yet, but there's still hope for him. Um, Yay! You know, um, I'm glad though George is out of there. You know he's uh, it's not the brightest, uh, <laughs> not the brightest light bulb. Um, you know he's sitting up there. And, uh, my fellow Americans, I come before you today to uh, to talk about a very serious cause that we're dealing with here with these uh, these terrorizers, terrorizers coming into America. <laughs> crashing planes into our buildings. Well, I believe that as, as Americans, we should come together as, as a unit be, because there's no I in, in unit. Oh, no, wait, no, that's, uh, 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 well, you see, um, a, a pen is saved is, uh, well, you see, you always have it. And, uh, it's, it's there when you need it. Y you know, it's, uh, it's that, uh, uh, I, yeah, I, I picture uh, uh, America as a uh, a double quarter pound with cheese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, I'm the burgers. You know the the foundation, the 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 makings of the double quarter pound with cheese, and also bacon too. If you need. I love bacon. <laughs> you know, bacon's great. But anyway, I I I, I, I digress. Um, it's uh. You, you see, the, um, Americans are like the, the ingredients. You're, you're what makes the double quarter pounder with cheese what it is. And without the ingredients to, uh... Oh, hell, what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, the, the, the double quarter pounder with cheese, you know? It's, uh... It's, um... You know, it, you, 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 you have the burger, and uh, you, it, it looks good. And, and you want it, and um, you you strive to to make make this burger good. And you know, by the way, uh, fast food is terrible. It's uh, uh, yeah. I, I went to a Wendy's um, not too long ago, and I ordered the the Baconator sandwich. Uh, I love bacon. <laughs> I don't know if I told you that or not, but you know, it's. Uh, you know, I, I sit down and, and I get about three quarters of the way through the burger and um, I get this this piece of bacon that is not even cooked. I mean, they must have just not uh, uh, set the, uh, the the timification on the uh, on the on the ovens or whatever you call them. You know, you know it's, I'm from Texas. You know, and uh, so so I get uh, I get I, I get that. Halfway through this sandwich, and I get this piece of bacon, and it's one of those things where you see you can't really bat through it, but you can bat into it. 
you know what I'm saying? Like like steak gristle. You know, it, that like like a like a squishy crunch. Like so, I'm sitting there and God, it's it's, it's, it's terrible. It's it's terrible. I, I I almost threw up. I almost threw up. But my my mama taught me not to do that because it's it's not right. You, you need to have manners. You see that that's what we learned in Texas. It, manners. You know, good morals. And uh, so, but yet again, I, I digress. Um, anyway, America, we need to stand together, and we we need we need to come together against these terrorizers over in Afghanistan and Iraq, fight against Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden. And uh, my my name is President George W. Bush. And uh, I, I approve this message. The end. You know, I've always wanted. I've always wanted Don LaFontaine. You know, the movie guy. One man, one desire. I've always, I've always wanted that guy just to like follow me around and you know just like just narrate my life like I'm driving down my car. It's like one man, one road, one destination, action, excitement, desire. I, uh, I often, uh, I often have a good time with my buddies at home. Uh, there's hardly ever a dull moment, and uh, we're sitting there one day, and they're uh, they're all stoned, just baked, <laughs> right? And uh, you know, there's uh, there's um, there's this extension cord on the floor, and um, my buddy's just like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Dude, this wire over here, man, looks like a dog, dude. Look at it. You know, the nose and the mouth and the ears. It's awesome. It's great. It's a dog, man, you know. He's, he's got like the Peter Griffin laugh going like... But anyway, you know, so we're uh, we're sitting there, and and uh, my buddy he uh, he he just he has a problem with uh, with with passing it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of passing it, he'll just hold it there. Just like you know, we're just sitting there, and he'll, he'll just hold it there. Not pass it. He'll just he'll just hold it. And I'm just like, dude, why, why do you do that, man? Like, why is that? Why, why do you, why do you just sit there and just hold it to me? Why don't you just pass it? And he's like, well, I, I just put it out there so, you know, someone else can take it. You know, I don't do it all the time. And I was like, yeah, you, you really do, though. You know, you, you hold it out there. And, uh, you know, you just you keep doing it. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, you know, you're just so stoned that, like, you lose rotation, like, you know, you're sitting there and... Oh, it's stuck. There it is. And, um, you know, you're sitting there and you, you get it and you take it and you pass it back to the person who just passed it to you, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you're thinking, why? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? He's so big that he just doesn't understand that it goes this way. He proceeds to go this way. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things. Uh, I even got, I even got help from Well, that's all I got for you guys. Alright, give it up! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to check. Dick, did you like the uh, the pot jokes at the end? Yes, I did. Oh! <laughs>
That's what I'm saying, right? There. I love you, Avicen. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Give it up one time for Al. All right. All right. Keeping things moving here, everybody. We got our next comic who's going to make his way to the stage.